The choice lucky spins are back in Call of Dragon. So in this video, I'm gonna max spin the wheel for Bertrand, and I might have to switch midway to Ferrandil. And I'm gonna actually probably max Bert in this video, which is kind of hype. We'll give an update on our season and more, so stick around for the things you need to know, including a pro tip or what to do with your excess G2 hero tokens if you have any of them. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and today's video was sponsored by the makers of Call of Dragons. And I have been trying to find ways to max these Generation 2 heroes. Of course, I want to be using them in that state, but I realized I'm going to hit a weird spot where I might not be able to spin any of these heroes, so I stopped buying them from the Daily Special, I stopped getting them from VIP, and I've preserved at least one or two extra wheels that I can do from the Lucky Spin. Now, at some point in the future, the developers have said they're going to potentially give us a way to use excess legendary hero tokens. But here's a pro tip for you. If you're in this position I'm in, or if you just want to be saving for the future, which is the thing I generally like to do, because, hey, look, if your season's already over, you, like, don't need to invest in anything until the next season, you know what I mean? I like to save right up until we know exactly what the new meta is, and then, boom, go big, move all in on that new meta, and be prepared for it, rather than being like, oh, well, I already spent everything I have, so I just can't do it. Anyways, the real secret tip here is that if you are in a position to save G2 hero tokens, you might at some point consider doing so, because what I suspect will be true is that when they release a new faction, which they've said they're going to do it at some point, okay? When they release a new faction, presumably there will be new heroes that are released associated with that faction, both at the epic tier, I mean, they gotta add one to be a starting hero, and typically they will add some at the legendary tier. We know that based on the predecessor to this game, Rise of Kingdoms. Now, in Rise of Kingdoms, the new legendary associated with a faction, it's a civilization in that game, would show up in the gold keys. So why am I mentioning this? Well, the way that you can max a gold key commander, besides pulling them from keys, is that you actually can go into your items, and you can use higher generation hero tokens on lower generation heroes. So my suspicion is that in the near term-ish, when we get a new faction, okay, that will be able to then use a G2 token on any G1 legendary that might come out with that faction. We'll see if it works that way. But that is why I have shifted gears and I'm like, oh, I'm going to save my G2s. I'm going to save these universal G2s and wait for a new faction to show up. And I'm going to try to spin the wheel to finish off those heroes. All right. So time to spin the wheel. <laughs> All that talk to say, let's spin the freaking wheel. Now, if you are spending in Call of Dragons, I would strongly advise you to check out the Pluto Mall. I will include a link to the Pluto Mall in the description of this video. You can buy a thing called a Dragon Ticket. Dragon Tickets let you exchange for an equally valued bundle. However, you can buy Dragon Tickets in the Pluto Mall in a way that gives you 10% extra tickets, typically. So um, I've covered this extensively in another video. I'll have a card in the end screen for that. Um, but the Pluto Mall is an official site of uh, Legu, who makes this game. So um, it it. it it is official. <laughs> and when you buy there, you get these tickets. You can use these tickets to exchange for the exact same equivalent value of a bundle. Um, and to give an example, like if you buy a $100 dragon ticket, okay, which like here's a $100 dragon ticket, uh, at the time of this recording, you also get a $10 dragon ticket on top of that. So 10% extra value straight up. So uh, way better than doing your spending in the app store if that's what you've been doing. Now, uh, this lets us go and do our spins. So let's get after it. Lucky spins. We're going to start with Bertrand. I do need to point out, however, that my my Bertrand is in a really good spot. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to have to go back to the hero screen. He is 5554. Five, five, so I need to be careful. I have seven tokens already. I do not want to exceed the number of tokens I need for Bert. I probably will finish him off with a few G2 tokens. This is probably the way to do it, okay? So let's go and get to spinning and sort of keep track of how many of his tokens we get, all right? So there's one token. Let's freaking go. We're now at still one token, but I did get a universal, which is even better. Okay, these G2 tokens, if I'm right about, you know, new heroes showing up are going to be really sweet. We're at two Bert tokens. <laughs> okay, this is going... Way better than I would have expected. Two more universals. Let's freaking go. Three Burt tokens. So now we need 70 more. Boom. Full pull. Okay. We need 60 more 
burnt tokens to finish him off. There's one more. Okay. We need 59. Or I guess we're just counting it down here. That one had none of his tokens, which I suppose is fine for me at this point. There's 58 tokens to go. Okay. 57 tokens to go. 56 tokens to go. Dude, I am blasting through this. Holy moly. And I'm getting a ton of uh, the G2 tokens, which is sweet. Okay. Still 56 tokens. Kind of surprising. Normally, this would actually be pretty bad. Uh, okay. 46 tokens to go. And one more token. 45 tokens to go, if I've done my math correctly. And I might not have, so we'll double check. <laughs> oh man, 40, uh, what is it, 44, 43, 42? Maybe, maybe, I just can't believe it's that low. 40 more tokens to go, and I spent 100 dragon tickets. Now, I have all these tier rewards as well, so I gotta be careful about that, all right? I don't wanna claim them yet. I could always switch to Ferondil and then claim them as Ferondil tokens. So, Bertrand over here, we can confirm. I did the math right. 40 tokens to go, so let's just keep going. Okay, in order to continue, I'm gonna have to spend some jemmies up in here, and I'm gonna spend the maximum number of jemmies. That might be a mistake, but let's commit the mistake then. And now we can spin, baby. Any more spins. 40 tokens to max them out. How are we going to do? 39 tokens to go. And 38 tokens to go. And still 38, but two universals. Ooh, 34 tokens to go. That spin is insane. Four Bertrand tokens. Let's go. Okay. Okay, uh, so it was 34 down to 32, down to 22 tokens to go on Bertrand. We're getting kind of close here. 22, 21 tokens, if I did that math right. There's 20 tokens to go. Now, theoretically, I could just wrap this up over here, which I think is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have to be... A Gosh, you know what I don't know? If I click the 25, will it also open the 10? Let's find out. No. Okay. So with 20 tokens to go, I can open here. I can open here. That is exactly 20. I hope I didn't mess that up. I switched to Ferrando. So let's get a look here and see if I didn't just blunder. It, did we do exaxes? Exaxes. Big poggers. We upgrade and we awaken. And your boy Bert over here is now maxed out. Now, the funny thing is that this is actually not a hero that it's particularly important to be maxed, but hey, we'll take it, baby. We'll take it. Max Bertrand. I have found that my Bertrand and Tohar March are getting three-fifths the merits of a Lily Velen. This is the AoE damage is insane. The AoE damage is just insane. I would say it's a little bit closer maybe to four-fifths as I was getting him closer to being maxed out. So it, it is doing better. And um, yeah, it's doing better. My my artifact is good on the combo. My pet is good on the combo. Um, I'm using the, you know, Breath of Gargantus. Good artifact. Pet's pretty decent. Okay. Pet could be related to the, uh, you know, merit difference. All right. But Bert Tohar are, are uh, I mean, I think this the second best mage march you can possibly make in the game. But now... We can spin for Ferrandel, baby. And I have found flying cavalry in early seasons of the game to be cracked, bro. But in late game, they really don't have the same value. They just don't. I will be very eager to move away from Spring Wardens when a better option presents itself. Uh, I am open to flying cavalry doing cool things, and they're really good for catching pets, but like, I don't know if flying cav or where it's at right now against competent endgame players. So let's just go and uh, continue to work on Ferrandale. I've got him at 10 out of 80 on the second skill. I expect we'll probably not max him. We're definitely not going to max him, but we're not going to finish that skill, I suspect. All right. So there's 10 more tokens of him. Yeah, no way that we get another skill on him. And honestly, I like, I do not want to use my universals to finish them off because if i end up preferring rushing maxing a new hero in the next season that shows up then my choice wheels the only option i'm going to have is ferrandale so that'll be awkward if that's where i end up all right so we smash these off we've done a bunch of these spins there's a 10 spot let's freaking go 30 spins to go i do not expect i will get another 10 spot before the end of this and i will be nowhere near finishing that skill on Ferrando. Uh, I suspect maybe at best halfway. Yeah, at best. Probably not even. 
All right, so we go in over here. We look at Ferrandale. We look at the scale. 45, just past halfway. Um, so that that leaves me about one more lucky spin that I can do on Ferrando, which is pretty good, uh, especially because I feel like flying calves are not the jam right now. All right. Uh, in terms of how the season has been progressing, uh, we just had a little fight, a little tussle. Uh, my hospital is recovering. <laughs> uh, we fought over here at uh, a couple forts that we were a part of taking down, and then also this spire. All right. So we took down the spire. Looks like uh, we're on our way building through here, building and burning. And it looks like we will potentially lock up this zone as another zone that is safe for our team and our allies. From there, there aren't that many other zones that I think we can even pursue into. I don't know if we can go into this zone over here. Maybe we can. But the other zone where there's been a lot of fighting is over here. But yeah, look, defensive choke points are busted, bro. And they've got a good defense here. So I don't know if we will attempt to even crack this again <laughs> later in the season. I guess we'll see. And if that's something you want to see, consider subscribing to the channel. I actually have a ton of Call of Dragons content cooking up that isn't here only because I was on vacation and I actually took a bunch of time to spend with my family, which was really good. Very needed. Um, and I probably will make a video about that. It was a Disney vacation, which is a tradition that my wife's family has. Uh, but it was really... Like, well, I mean, if you want to hear about that, let me know about it in the comments. And I'm, I, I will probably make a video about that. Um, if enough people are interested, certainly I will go and do that. All right. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the next season. Like, I really am expecting sometime soon we should get some spoilers for new heroes that are on the way and more. And like, soon enough, we'll be doing the Elite Dragon, which could be pretty fun. I will maybe stream that. I guess we'll see how difficult it is. Uh, and then we'll be talking about end of season rewards. And, and let me just preface this by saying I will probably wait and see what new pet is coming out because typically in the season rewards, they will include um, something that you can get for that pet. So typically they'll add a three-star skill over here for the new pet. That is probably what I will be angling for, but we got to see what the new heroes do and the new pet does. I'm getting ahead of myself. If they don't do that, I will probably be looking at maybe the Enduring Shadow Hunter. Maybe I'll go the route of Super Infection, although I don't have an amazing place to put a Super Infection. Um, my Venom Lizard just doesn't have enough luck to really justify that. As of the time of this recording, I mean, honestly, maybe Super Ravage is the play. Let's go for the Behemoths and, and go for the Sin Frey boost. Um, terrible quickening as of the time of this recording isn't all that exciting. Uh, Brew and Bear is really cool, but the range is really short, so I don't even really use one currently. Haven't even built one. <laughs> chi chi man. Anyways, more about this in a separate vid. Uh, if you're, in fact, if you're looking for information about pets, cards in the end screen for some of my favorite pet guides. Until next time, you have fun. Smash in the kingdom.